campus of Troy University. This is Trojan Vision at the News. It was a warm, cloudy day, but could rain be on the way? So, Sean Sporan will have your weekend weather forecast coming up. Although our day began with clear skies, cloud cover has been increasing throughout the day. Does this mean rain will enter our area soon? Find out next in weather. And now Sean Sporman joins us with weather. So Sean, it's been a pretty beautiful day outside. I hear it's a little humid. I haven't gotten to spend much time outside. How's it been? Well, the humidity is slowly starting to come up, and we've actually seen some more clouds moving in. And in fact, in part of the parts of the state, it's beginning to rain. And taking a look outside right now, there's no rain falling across the campus. And it's actually the sun is pretty shining right now. But we do have a few clouds out there. So it's a mix of sun and clouds in the Troy area right now. Our temperature right now is 78 degrees. Again, as we indicated earlier, the humidity is starting to come up a little bit, about 43%. We got a little south, southwest of the breeze coming in at 5 miles an hour. 78 is our high temperature today. It hasn't been very cold today. We started off mild at 58 for our low, and no rain has fallen thus far. Taking a look at conditions across the state, you can see right now it's raining in Montgomery where it's 72. A little rain cool there there as some showers move through the state capital. Other than that, we have some mostly cloudy skies here in Birmingham where it's 76 and 69 in Huntsville. The sun is shining though with very few clouds to report in Dauphin where it's 76. You can see across the majority of the southeastern United States, temperatures are warm. We have 78 over here in Jackson, Mississippi and 69 in Atlanta. But as you take a look toward the north and toward the west, you can see some cool air beginning to move in. It's 50 in Little Rock and 56 in Oklahoma City. And that's because they're behind this cold front. And this cold front is stretching all the way from the low-pressure system here just to the west of Arkansas, up through Mississippi and Tennessee and into Kentucky and into parts of the northeast. And in advance of that, we have a little bit of rain activity popping up. And you can see across the state, the heaviest activity is toward the west of Birmingham and Tuscaloosa, places like Lamar, Pickens, and Winston County. We do have a little bit of shower activity again around Montgomery and some trying to form in the southern part of the state. But the risk for rain tonight won't be that significant, about a one in three chance of any spot receiving a shower today. And you can see that front, again, stretches up all the way to the northeast, toward the north of that. We've seen some snow forming in Maine through New York State. Out west, we have another system moving on shore there, and that will bring a reinforcing shot of cold air to them as well. As places such as Fontana, Idaho, Washington, and Oregon can see highs in the 30s and 40s over the weekend. We are watching the potential for some thunderstorms. The risk for severe thunderstorms in Alabama is very low, but a few isolated thunderstorms are not out of the question. But the main threat for severe weather will be over here to further toward the west in places such as Mississippi and Louisiana. We will see a little bit of rain totals in some part of the state, but they will not be very significant. We don't expect a washout from this potential event. But some areas could see about a tenth or a quarter of an inch from the showers that do develop. The best chance of rain, however, will come tomorrow. You can see here, wide area of potential rain coverage, especially in East Alabama. Phoenix City may see a little bit of better chance of rain than Troy, but the chance will be about one in, one in two, about, or about 50%, for most parts of the state tomorrow. And again, we'll also have a little bit of warmer air come in for a while, but over the weekend, the temperatures will become a little bit cooler. While we won't see the 20-degree drop that places such as North Alabama and Georgia may see, we could see high temperatures drop about 8 to 10 degrees as we return to the 70s on Saturday and Sunday. But for tonight, we'll have increasing clouds as, those, as that cold front inches its way ever closer to the Alabama area. 20% chance of rain with a low of 56. For tomorrow, again, about a 50% chance of rain for any one particular spot. A little bit cooler tomorrow, too, with a high of 76. Outside of the thunderstorms, but there could be some sunshine popping through as well. And now taking a look out at the four-day forecast, again, the best chance of rain will come tomorrow, but we will mention chances of rain continuing for Sunday, about 20%, and we'll have those highs return to the 80s on Monday again, but we have a better chance of rain coming in on Tuesday. So Jessica McKenzie, although the last part of the week has been pretty dry, so we're going to have chances of rain continue to move back into the forecast and continue through the rest of early next week. So all those people coming in for Senior Preview Day tomorrow better have their umbrellas handy, that 50% chance. What are you thinking? Is it going to rain? Well, it's, again, one in two chance, but I would say an umbrella would be a safe bet. All right. Thank you, Sean. Thank you.